Welcome to Free to Cook. In this episode, we're going to be making my version of a Baja steak bowl. The fresh and bold flavors make this a fantastic summer dish. It's a great one for sharing with large groups. To start, we need to make the Baja steak marinade. First, dice half a red onion. Save the other half for later. Then crush and dice two cloves of garlic. It's important to first crush the garlic as it allows it to release all of its flavor. Finally, roughly chop a handful of coriander. Now for the spice mix. In a bowl, add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of cumin, finally one teaspoon of chili flakes. Mix it all together. Next, you'll need 500 grams of steak. Cut lengthways into thin slices before cutting the other way to make nice little strips. Transfer the steak into a large Ziploc bag. Add the spices, red onion, garlic and coriander. To finish it off, add some olive oil. Close the bag and mix it all together. Then place it in the fridge to marinate for at least an hour to overnight. The longer the better. To make the salsa, dice half a red onion. Slice one red pepper into strips and then into smaller pieces. Dice three tomatoes. Chop some coriander. Then mix it all together. Next, you'll need three cups of freshly cooked rice. Dice another handful of coriander. I really hope you like coriander. Add the coriander to the rice and squeeze over the juice of one lime. Mix it all together. Set a cast iron pan over high heat before adding the marinated steak. And squeeze over the juice of one lime. Cook it till it just begins to crisp up. All that's left to do is to serve it up. To a bowl, add some rice, salsa, the Baja steak, the jalapenos, a tablespoon of guacamole. To finish it off, I know this isn't traditional, but I like to use a bit of sriracha mayo and a couple of corn chips. And there you have it, my take on a Baja steak bowl. This dish is fantastic for summer, and it's a great one to share with family and friends. Or even better, meal prep for lunches during the week. If you found this recipe helpful, don't forget to share it, subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and if you have any recipe suggestions, leave them in the comments.